how do you create a reimbursement model and a payment system model that actually allows for precision medicine to be paid for and utilized in the clinical environment. And a lot of that has to do with creating a process, a more robust process for shared decision making and allowing things like value to be defined at the patient level and not at the population level. And I know that's a difficult thing for some people to get their arms around, but I think it's fundamentally necessary. If you're gonna try to create a, a delivery system around precision medicine and take advantage of that, that is an individual, that is a value proposition that really is about the individual, the N of one, that patient sitting there in front of you and how do you figure out what's the most appropriate and best treatment based on a reasonable set of evidence for that patient and making sure that that patient can then get access to that care. And that's probably our biggest concern is there is a lot of conversation going on right now, and rightly so, about how do you create new payment models um, and delivery system models. And you kind of think of this as a continuum between highly or overly standardized kind of cookie cutter approaches, which may be the, most, the, the best way to, to achieve cost containment, but not necessarily the best way to achieve personalized medicine. At the other extreme, you have highly individualized, highly personalized medicine where really value is defined at the individual level. And somewhere in between those two extremes, we've got to figure out how to create a system of patient engagement, patient centeredness, uh, shared decision making, clinical judgment that allows for this paradigm of precision medicine to truly uh, reach uh, the patients because they're the ones that are going to benefit most from this type of engagement.